7. Almahaman, the source of peace, the guardian, the protector. In Islam, Almahaman is one of the 99 names of Allah, God. It translates to the guardian or the protector in English. This name reflects the belief in Allah's role as the ultimate guardian and protector of all creation. As al Mahaman, Allah is considered to have complete knowledge and control over everything, overseeing and preserving the universe. Muslims often invoke this name to seek protection, guidance, and support from Allah in their daily lives. Tafsir is the scholarly interpretation and explanation of the Quran, the holy book of Islam. The name al mahaman is derived from the Arabic root word HMN, which carries meanings related to protection, overseeing, and maintenance. Allah is the ultimate guardian and watcher over all creation. Allah, in His infinite knowledge and wisdom, observes and safeguards every aspect of the universe. This includes sustaining and maintaining the order and balance of the creation along with the affairs of humanity. From a spiritual perspective, the name al mahaman highlights Allah's role as the trustworthy protector and overseer. This attribute conveys the belief that Allah is aware of every individual's actions, intentions, and even their unspoken thoughts. It also emphasizes his role as the ultimate judge, who ensures justice and fairness in all matters. The name al mahaman refers to his supreme nature as being the guardian or the absolute authority, he is the superseder, nothing will overtake or usurp him. He is the ever-watchful, not just limited to the superficial, he can see all which is concealed in the hearts, nothing can be kept a secret from him. He knows what is in the heavens and earth, He knows what you conceal and what you reveal, God knows very well the secrets of every heart. 64-4 You can find variations of the word Mahaman, like Mahaminan in Surah Maida verse 48 where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala declares the Quran as being the book that will be well guarded. And we have sent down to you O Muhammad, the book this Quran, in truth, confirming the scripture that came before it and Mohaiman and trustworthy in highness and a witness, over it, old scriptures. But as a name and attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, al mahaman is only ever mentioned once in the Quran. He is Allah, other than whom there is no deity, the sovereign, the pure, the perfection, the bestower of faith, the overseer, the exalted in might, the compeller, the superior. Exalted is Allah above whatever they associate with Him. Quran 59-23 The word Haimanatun, transliteration, Haimana, in modern Arabic means dominance. One country can seize another, being in control or showing authority over that state. But this is often transitory, exchanging hands from one owner to another. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al mahaman the one who has complete guardianship, a quality of being in control, supremely that lasts for eternity, it is not limited by any means. But this is one form of dominance, Mahaman also refers to an authoritative figure who reigns supreme, one that you can trust. This is analogous to a parent who out of love for their child will set rules and boundaries to protect and care for the child. It's often done in the best interest despite the kid thinking otherwise.